going into trance and things like eating glass pieces. You know? Some people might not understand me thinking of all oh, the cave farm is dangerous, but to me it's nothing shocking actually. Thousands of people have been doing all these things in the open, stepping on nails, lying down on a bit of nails. This is a life of a performer and we practice hard for it. Kuda Kepang is a hobby horse dance. It's originated from Java Island. Some of them say myth, some of them they say it's a legend. Kuda Kepang is a story about the soldiers want to go to war. What I'm holding is a Kuda Kepang. They make from the uh, bamboo we bought from Indonesia. The big one costs about $75 and the small one about $30. I'm just teaching about the traditional dance of Kuda Kepa and I start from 8 years old. Now I'm 63. I bring this thing to the stage to Korean London. I represent Singapore National Day. So it's my heart and soul. The young generation, they must know what is a Kuda Kepa. What we are trying to do here is to uplift the Japanese arts, just to keep it alive. Because it seems that not really much youngsters were really into all this anymore right now. So it's going to be a bit of a loss to our own culture. The town council in 2010, they don't allow Kodeke Pang to perform at their places. They don't give the official reason why we cannot perform. Some of the residents complain. The noise, ning nang ning nong, ning nang ning nong, the trance from morning till night, so we can understand. Then some of them, they complain about vandalism. If you do this performance at the public, right, how if five years old or six years old child look at this performance? You are stepping on glass, people eat glass. What if you no know, these children go home and eat glass because they thought it's okay? It's not really like a... Uh, like a fake thing and they act like for real. Oh, is it dangerous? Go through YouTube. Lah. Thousands of people have been doing all these things. This is a life of a performer. This is what we've been taught from the older generations. And we practice hard for it. Even though we work in the class, we never feel anything, nothing. But you must learn this whole thing. Take one year, two years. For the beginners, always I said, you learn dancing first. You learn how to feel it. Right at the back gate of Malay Heritage Centre, this used to be a staker, and what it says, say no to Kuda Kepang. It's now removed. It could possibly be because of the division within the community. So it was here because of the hatred, and it was probably removed because of the supporters and the belief that this is a beautiful art form. Sometimes, you know, we, we, we have been, been targeted just because some performance fight might break out. We've been comparing us and, and, and saying that, you no, know, some of us are involved in all those secret society thingy, but I'm sure those are individuals and it's wrong to assume us like that. If the person Break the rule, you ban them, and we follow the rule, we follow everything. Why you must ban us? We are Muslim in Islam, saying that human beings cannot work together with the jinns, with the spiritual world. The community will think that, oh, since the Mu'is never support this group, which means this group is against the Islam, it's haram, you see? But how about Malay dance that did not wear tudung? Would you say that haram? You still a religious person, but you want to perform this Kuda Gipang because you like Kuda Gipang, you know, because you are Javanese. It's art, so don't, don't relate us with religion. The trance is real. Whether the performer is in the real state of trance or not, is another story. So I'm actually standing here on the ground of where Kuda Gipang used to be performed. I clearly remember audience uh, standing around in an arena, arena watching the performance from evening all the way to let's say 11 p.m. or beyond. It's very sad that the space is lost after the demolition of Malay village and the restrictions. There isn't any space for the community to come together to appreciate the arts. If Kuda Kepang gone, 
in Singapore, they mean like I die. I feel like empty, nothing. Somehow I know down the road it's going to be disappeared or it's going to be banned forever. I don't know. But yeah, if everything has to stop, I don't even know what, what to do. <laughs>